Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the launching and christening of the dredge barge Ellis Island. The Ellis Island is a 433-foot trailing suction, suction hopper dredge, which we at Eastern Shipbuilding are building for the Great Lakes Dredge and Dock Company of Chicago. This hopper dredge, the Ellis Island, is the largest, will be the largest hopper dredge operating in the United States. And we, can sit, we, we, we at Eastern want to thank our customer, Great Lakes Dredge and Dock, for the confidence they've placed in us to build such a significant vessel. Uh, we're honored by the president, presence of Bob Euler, who's on the board of directors of, uh, of uh, Great Lakes. And we have up on the podium John Berger, the CEO of Great Lakes and his lovely wife, Dave Simonelli, president of Great Lakes and his lovely wife, and Steve Becker, vice president of engineering, and his lovely wife. And all three of those lovely ladies will be breaking bottles and christening. We tried to see if they could all do it at the same time, but I, th I, think, I think we'll try one at a time. We are joined also by Father Kevin of St. John's Church, who blessed the vessel, and w with the kind assistance of Father Michael from St. Dominic's Church. There you go. They're not going to break bottles, though. They're going to use holy. They're going to use holy water. Okay, I'm going to turn the uh, podium over to uh, uh, Great Lakes CEO John Berger. Thanks, Brian. Thank you, Brian. I would first like to take the opportunity to thank Brian, Joey, and the whole executive leadership team at Eastern for the hard work and spirit of cooperation we have had in bringing us to this day. We still have more work to do but this is a milestone on our journey. Secondly, I would like to thank Chris Hill and his team of people working on crafting the barge we are launching today. Your hard work and dedication and attention to detail is to be commended, and the whole team at Great Lakes is internally grateful. Thank you. This is an important day for Great Lakes but also important for the U.S. economy and the safety and the security of the U.S. Now those are bold statements, but everyone associated with the construction of the Ellis Island should understand this. We are constructing the most advanced piece of dredging equipment in the total fleet of U.S. dredgers. It will be instrumental in protecting our shoreline and maintaining our shipping channels for the next 30 to 40 years. Our ability to efficiently sell our crops, natural resources, and manufactured goods to the world hinges on our ability to have the most cost-effective transport of them from throughout the United States to the world markets. This can only be accomplished by having navigable waterways, and the Ellis Island will be the largest, most efficient tool to do this in the United States. I would also like to take a moment and also congratulate my team at Great Lakes for the vision to think boldly and to design a tool that can continue to keep us the leader in the U.S. dredging market. Dave Salmonelli, Steve Becker, and our whole team. Our shipyard team led by Ray Staten, Christian, and Jimmy. This has been a long and winding road, but nothing worth the value is ever achieved easily. Keep the faith we are in the final miles of this marathon. Finally, I would like to thank our board of directors in this major endeavor, and they have de demonstrated the faith of this team five years ago when we started this vessel and continue to support Great Lakes as we plan to reinvest in the next generation of vessels to equip us for the next 30 years of leadership in our industry. I would now like to hand it over to Dave Salmonelli, our president of dredging operations, to share his thoughts. Thank you, John. Well, welcome, everybody. Um, on September 15th, 
2014, Steve Becker, Great Lakes' Senior Vice President of Plant and Equipment, and I, along with Brian and Joey DeCerner, and Ken Monroe of Eastern Shipbuilding had the pleasure of attending the steel cutting ceremony for the Ellis Island. Until that point, even after a lot of hard work by many people at Great Lakes and Eastern preparing for the start of construction, this vessel was still little more than a vision. Following the outstanding work by Eastern's workforce, production teams, State and Marine, and Great Lakes Mechanical Engineering Group, the hopper barge component of our ATB stands before us ready to launch. We sincerely thank the men and women at Eastern for their hard work and dedication to building the Ellis Island. You all deserve a round of applause. We at Great Lakes are very proud of the vessel which Eastern has been building for us, and I know I can speak on behalf of the Great Lakes dredge crew who will look after her post-delivery next year and say we look forward to getting our hands on her and showing the Army Corps of Engineers our private clients and the industry what the design, this design of a hopper dredge can really do. We also recognize and realize the significance of this vessel to Eastern, given that it's its first hopper dredge build and only the third hopper dredge built in the U.S. since the year 2000. We commend the Eastern team for rising to the challenge of building your first hopper dredge. In return, Great Lakes will strive to deliver an excellent reputation for this vessel while we maintain our own history of innovation and low-cost leadership in the U.S. dredging industry. We are proud to partner with Eastern in the construction of the state-of-the-art Jones Act vessel to meet the nation's growing maritime infrastructure needs and to deliver this investment to the maritime future of America. The Dredge Ellis Island, together with the Doug Mackey, will play an important role in performing coastal protection work on the East Coast and the restoration of eroded land masses on the Gulf Coast. Additionally, The ability to cost-effectively deepen and maintain navigable waterways will bolster, bolster the United States' competitive position in world trade as many of the nation's ports move forward with deepening plans to accommodate the larger vessels which now sail through the Panama Canal. Ultimately, we are convinced the Ellis Island will bring new capabilities to the U.S. dredging market, literally dredging the way for future economic prosperity for businesses, their supply chains, and the country's economy as a whole. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank the many equipment suppliers who have provided the equipment to construct this hopper dredge and who continue to work diligently to prepare it for systems integration testing, sea trials, delivery, and beyond operations. This vessel could not have been built without them, and I know we can rely on their support to ensure that this vessel operates efficiently. Most importantly, the construction of this vessel has been done safely. And I know from, from many visits to the vessel and observing the shipyard crews at work, they know you know your value of safety. I want to thank you all for your hard work, often done in sweltering conditions, that turned steel plate into the vessel we see today. Great Lakes is the largest provider of dredging services in the United States, and I'd like to thank the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers for the continued confidence in the company in our newest vessel, the Ellis Island. At the steel cutting ceremony, I stated how proud and pleased Great Lakes was to be working with a group as capable as Eastern. It continues to be a privilege to work with you. Over the next several months, as dredging equipment installations are completed and you begin testing commissioning, Great Lakes will anxiously await the delivery of this incredible vessel, the largest hopper dredge sailing an American flag. Finally, I'm happy to share the podium with Ms. Barbara Berger, Ms. Joy Becker, and Mrs. Colleen Simonelli, who have kindly agreed to be our vessel sponsors. Welcome and thank you for doing us this very great privilege of sponsoring the Ellis Island, soon to be the new queen of the Great Lakes Hopper Fleet. Thank you. Uh, Father Kevin. Good afternoon. It is a great privilege to be here with you this day as we turn to God for all that we need and to give thanks for all that he has blessed us with. Uh, the jobs that we have, the ability to work, and to see the fruit of our labors that are a blessing to our communities and to our world. And so we ask God's blessing upon you, upon your work, and upon all who will sail upon this vessel. We begin our prayer with the name of our God and the sign of our salvation. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> 
Listen to the words of the Apostle Paul as he preached in Athens. You Athenians, I see that in every respect you are very religious, for as I walked around looking carefully at your shrines, I even discovered an altar inscribed to an unknown God. What therefore you unknowingly worship, I proclaim to you. The God who made the world and all that is in it, the Lord of heaven and earth, does not dwell in sanctuaries made by human hands, nor is he served by human hands because he needs anything. Rather, it is he who gives to everyone life and breath and everything. He made from one the whole human race to dwell on the entire surface of the earth, and he fixed the ordered seasons and the boundaries of their regions so that people might seek God even perhaps grope for him and find him, though indeed he is not far from any one of us, for in him we live and move and have our being, as even some of your poets have said, for we too are his offspring. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Certainly the Lord is with us at all times, whether we are aware of his presence and not, and wherever we go, whatever we do, we trust in the Lord's providence and mercy to guide us. And so we pray upon this vessel and all who will sail upon her. Listen kindly to our prayers, O Lord, as we ask that you turn aside every unfavorable wind from this boat and by your unsurpassed power, calm the seams around it. Under your protection, let those who sail it realize their just desires and arrive safely in harbor. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 May the Lord be the guide on your journeys so that you may travel in peace and reach eternal life. Amen. And may God's blessing come upon all who are gathered here, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, fathers. Okay. <laughs> now this is what everyone's been waiting for. Can you, can you hold the mic for just a second? We're going to get a few people up here wet. <laughs> One. Ma'am. I'm more comfortable with martinis. Now, who's going to go? What, what did you decide? Barbara. Barbara. Barbara? 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 Stay together. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Just speak right into it. <laughs> May God God bless the Ellis Island and all all who sail sail on her. Now in harmony, now in harmony. (laughs) Okay. Okay. Hmm? Yeah, the flat side. side. And this this is Miss This is Barbara, correct? Barbara will correct uh, Barbara Berger will crack the first will break the first bottle. Okay. No? There you go. Okay, two tries. That's good. Let me let me uh, shake it up. And this is Co- Co- Colleen. Colleen. Colleen will whack the. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh my. For which side? And, and okay, that's a hard act to follow, but we'll yeah, let's let's get to it. Oh, shut Good up. job, Colleen. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Enjoy the third bottle. Yeah.